For Lieutenant Colonel Andrew Lurig, there was never a question of if he'd fly again, it was when. And somehow it must have been Providence, because the when came six years to the day after his last flight. This is training day. Andrew says it was just like riding a bike. Back behind the gauges in the flight deck, it all came back to him. For three hours, he answered questions, crunched numbers, and flew six touch-and-go exercises, all before his final landing of the day. And on the ground, there was anticipation. As his wife Lisa, his parents, and other family and friends prepared for his arrival. How was he this morning? He was fine. How was he? I kissed him goodbye and said good luck. These wounded servicemen and women also came out to wish Andrew well. In Andrew, they see hope and possibility. Andrew says the flight was the easy part. He wasn't prepared for the overwhelming support he received. <laughs> support that gave him the determination to return to the cockpit. To all of you who have been wounded in battle and you want to stay on active duty, your military career isn't over and I'm proof. This is not just an achievement for Lieutenant Colonel Andrew Lurake. It's an honor for all wounded men and women who serve this country, an achievement for all amputees. Senior Airman Anthony Pizzifred lost part of his leg after a landmine accident in Afghanistan. He's now been restored to active duty. It's just, it's just amazing. Somebody could stay on active duty with a prosthetic leg. I was surprised at how well it actually flew. And uh, my first couple landings in the airplane weren't what I thought I would pound it in the ground or, or do something. They were all pretty much on center line and, uh, and decent touchdowns. Lisa Lurake is glad her husband is sticking with his wings. And she says, Fly airplanes and let's not ride any motorcycles. We'll go skiing, but no motorcycles. <laughs> Andrew is glad to have a seat with this view. One that's now reserved for the first above the knee amputee to fly in the Air Force, who hopes he won't be the last. Leslie Foster, 9 News.